All I'm going to say is this made up for season four and five. Yeah, this is Derek Yasha. And today I'm going to review Inuyasha, the final act. All right. So, yeah, um, pretty much um, what it is, the story is essentially they want to finally stop Naraku. Okay. And in order to do that, Inuyasha has got to learn some new techniques, too. And also, uh, a lot of shit happens, okay? Uh, mainly one thing, um, it's, it's too, um, you, you know, like, too, like, too hard for me to explain the story a, li a little bit, but you, you get the whole deal. If you, if you want, go watch somebody else's review. I know this is not a perfect review, but anyways, what I am going to explain is, uh, one key thing, all right, uh, mainly what happens is, is Kikyo dies, and now it's up to Kagome to become a priestess, and also to protect Kohaku, okay, um, and, you know, it's up to her to purify the sacred jewel shard, and also that Naraku took Koga's two, two uh, jewel shards in his leg already. In his legs, my mistake, I'm sorry, okay. So yeah, um, the R for Naraku to become fully complete is if he gets the jewel shard and, you know, uh, drain it of its, you know, holy power, then he, he could become the full-fledged, uh, you know, unstoppable, uh, whatever. Does it really matter? Okay, seriously. Okay, uh, let's move on to the voice acting, all right? Uh, the voice acting is done pretty, pretty well here, except for Kagome's new voice a actor, of course, a voice actress, okay? But um, everyone else was top notch, and of course, uh, the new voice actor for uh, Shoshomaru, yeah, he does a very good job. He almost sounds like you know the the old guy that did the voice for Shoshomaru, okay? But yeah, he do, he does a very good job. Everyone does a very good job here. All right. Um, the animation, the animation is really, really good. I like it. It's, you know, crisp on the eyes, and it looks very beautiful, alright? And also, um, you know, it ends on a good note. That's all I'm gonna say. The show ends on a, on a very good note, alright? And, you know, sounds and music, you know, it's like the old music from, you know, seasons one through seven, okay? And the openings is not, like, I think it was just one opening that they used for, you know, uh, these two DVDs, of course. But, um, ending one was kind of stupid, closing one, or ending one, whatever, it was kind of stupid, but ending two, uh, was really good, you know. Like, I can't remember it, I'm sorry, but, you know, it's the one that goes la 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 at the start, okay? But see, ending two was rememberable. That, that was the only one that came close to in Inuyasha uh, closing, okay? But yeah, uh, very good here, okay? And, um, pretty much, um... I'm going to go on a quick rant real quick, but what I'm going to say is, um, what I forgot to mention, I think I already mentioned it, I don't remember, but Inuyasha obtains two new abilities, of course, which is Dragon Scaled Tensaiga and uh, Yamato Tensaiga, which is the black Tensaiga that opens up uh, space or whatever, yeah. No, no, let me go on on a quick rant, all right? Uh, mainly, it's about the Sango and the Roku thing and many other things, too, as well, all right? So, yeah, you know, um, the only way that uh, you could, uh, you know, free Ho Kohaku is if you kill him, bitch. Seriously, all you're doing is making him suffer. Okay, even the Raku fucking said that. And I'm gonna agree with the Raku. 
Naraku, all right? The, you know, the only way that, that uh, you're going to kill him is, no, not kill him. The only way to, that uh, you can remove the jewel shard is if you kill him, okay, or something like that, okay? Even if you do remove the jewel shard, he dies. E even if you uh, try to purify the jewel shard, he dies. So, see, um, in one episode, he was going to cut off his head, but she had to come in and stop him. And, of course, Kilala holding the, whatever that uh, blade is called that he was cutting his head off with. Yeah, real nice one, Sango. Um, also, another thing. How does Sango fall for Meiroku? Wasn't Meiroku a pimp? Seriously, that that's trying to go around and, and sleep with a lot of women. Okay, seriously, I, I just don't understand that. Seriously, like, wasn't he groping you? Wasn't he, like, uh, sexually harassing you? Seriously, like, I don't understand. How could you fall in love with somebody that basically grabs on your ass? See, see what I'm trying to point at here? How, did, how the fuck does she fall in love with him and she wants to get married to him? That doesn't make no damn sense. He was groping you. He, he doesn't really love you. He just wants your ass. Okay, as another thing, the Inuyasha and Kagome thing. Yes, they finally get together. Okay. This annoying bitch gets, gets Inuyasha in the end. Okay. Which I thought was stupid and pointless. Okay, like, why doesn't Inuyasha look for somebody else? But no, let me love Kagome, a girl that, you know, uh, nags me and tells me set boy all the time and does to me. Okay, seriously. Why? Why, why would you get this annoying bitch? Okay, this useless bitch. Okay, seriously. Yeah, but anyways, I guess that's it for Inuyasha, the final act review, and also rant, and I am done, I am out. Peace.